All right, welcome back to another Flask video. We're going to eventually create what I call a character counter app where we're gonna have some kind of input and the user can put something into that input field and display how many characters are in that input. But before we go ahead and create the app in Flask, I thought we'd go over some of the basics and we're going to continue on with that today. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any in the future. And I'll also have my newly created Patreon down below if you wanna check that out, uh, I really do appreciate it. I put some exclusive content on there as well, some follow along projects that are a little more in depth and they have provided source code. So yeah, feel free to check that out in the description if you're interested. But if we remember what we did in the last video, we went ahead and created what we call templates. And these are HTML files that you can dynamically, you know, put some Python code. Like right here, we have an if statement and that will decide what ends up being rendered in this web app. So for instance, if we just reiterate what we did last time, we have this index.html, that file was found in a templates directory, and we pass in a variable score with a value of 95. So to look at this, it'll say, okay, score is greater than 90, so it's going to print out this particular paragraph versus the you have failed paragraph. So instead of the if statement, today we're going to talk about for loops and how you can use those to display passed in variables that are either like dictionaries or lists. So let's start with a list. Let's go back to our main.py and inside of our test function, let's create a list of cars. And I'm just going to put different car manufacturers. So Audi, whoops, Audi and Ford and B, BMW, Toyota and etc. right? You guys get the point. Instead of score, let's pass in a new variable cars, pass in the values cars, and now if we go back to our index.html, instead of this if statement inside of the curly braces and then also the two percent signs inside of this, we're going to write our for loop. So for car in cars, just like you would in Python. And then down below, we can do a paragraph and inside of two curly braces, we want to display the value of car. And then to end our for loop, we're going to have open and close curly braces, two percent signs. And inside of this, we're going to say end for one word. Now, if we go ahead and serve this up, hi main, and I look at the site, we can see all of the different car values here as it looped through and turned into a paragraph each car value in that list. And now let's try the same thing, but with a dictionary and display its keys and values. All right, so instead of cars being a list, I went ahead and turned cars into a dictionary where the keys are the different manufacturers and then we have the values as, let's call it prices. And we're still going to name this dictionary cars and we can pass it in just like we did before. However, for the for loop, it's going to look a bit different. So since it's a dictionary, let's say key comma value and cars dot items. And let's take out this paragraph. But before we go through all of the different cars, let's start making a table in HTML. And let's have two table headers. The first one is going to be the manufacturer. Manufacturer, hopefully I spelled that right. And the second table header is the price. And now we can go ahead and go through our for loop and we'll bring over our end for as well. And I guess I wanna put these headers in a table row. Actually, I forgot that. So let's put a table row. Let's cut these, paste it inside of this table row. And now we'll return to our four. And for each key value, we're also going to have a table row. And then table data. The first table data is going to be the key value in two curly braces. And the next table data is going to be the value like this. And now if we refresh and we look at our new table, let me zoom in a bit so hopefully you guys can see. We have our table header, and then we have where we ended up looping through that dictionary. We have new rows, and then we have our keys and our values displayed dynamically. So pretty cool. And that's going to end this video for templates. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.